Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. So we just got back uh, from Gloucester, uh, we went all the way down to Camp Cobark and uh, it was a long drive, uh, probably around about eight hours, eight and a half hours probably to get down there. Um, we'll uh, show you some of the video that we got while we were down there. Uh, first uh, thing we're going to show you uh, in the episodes when we went out to uh, the Drifter store now, they were quite busy unfortunately. And uh, I didn't get the opportunity to sit there and have a chat with uh, some of the guys down there, which I really wanted to do, but uh, I just got to understand the type of weekend event that it was. So we had a quick uh, run through the store and uh, tried to do a little bit of filming uh, whilst they were serving customers as well. So it was a little bit, a little bit awkward there in some spots as well. So, uh, so we've, we've gone through, had a look at the shop. So I hope you enjoy um, having a look around. Um, we really enjoyed the weekend. Uh, it was a, a real credit to the guys uh, running the event. Um, the guys down there that uh, ran it, Luke. Um, we want to say a big thank you to, to Luke for going to that effort and, um, and putting something like that together uh, for everybody. Uh, we really did appreciate it. Um, it was great also to catch up with John, uh, Luke's dad. Um, a really nice bloke, hey. Um, I was uh, taken back at just how uh, pleasant and how um, friendly he was when, he, when you come up and, and approached him and um, a yeah, really nice guy. Uh, very easy to talk to and uh, yeah, it was, it was good to meet up with everyone. It was also, we met up with a couple of other people as well. Uh, Buck was down there as well, which was great to see Buck. I uh, didn't get to talk with Buck too much because he was pretty busy with uh, everyone coming up and saying g'day to him. And uh, then we also met up with Tofty as well, and we did an interview with Tofty. And uh, we had a look around his camp trailer as well, which you're gonna get to uh, see that uh, shortly also. Some of the other things we did while we were there, we had a look at um, uh, some of the army camper tra uh, trailers that came in. So there was about three of them that came in. Now, I'm not uh, an expert on vehicles or all that type of stuff, but I mean, they were quite spectacular for me anyway. Um, and I'm sure, you know, some of the guys out there, if you get to have a look at this as well, you'll be impressed with them also. Uh, so it was good to just have a chat with them and just see, uh, I suppose, how the other half lived. Uh, it was really interesting, you know, just seeing how they built those things as well. So that's coming up in another episode, guys. So hang around for that one also. Uh, we also met up with Brett Hooker as well, and we had a look at his camper trailer set up. Uh, very similar to our own camper trailer also, uh, but Brett has, uh, has two RV tents off the side of it as well, and he uses the opposite side uh, too. And um, uh, he didn't have a rooftop tent or anything like that on his one, he uses the, uh, the, the tents off the side of it. So you'll enjoy that episode, guys. So hang around uh, for that one also. So that's coming up in a later episode also. Um, but we grabbed the drone for the first time as well, so you might have seen the intro, some drone footage there as well. So we gave that a go, it's our, probably our first time ever flying the thing, and it was good fun. It's not as hard as it, as it originally looks, you know, I was, I was dreading flying that thing, but uh, it was actually quite easy. And uh, the footage you get out of it's amazing, guys. So uh, yeah, if you're ever thinking about going and getting a drone, I'd say yeah, go for it, they're, they're really good little things to fly around. And um, for myself, I love my electronics, so something you'd really enjoy. I did have a chat, chat, chat to a couple of people that came around as well. Um, they were interested in, in, uh, in the camper trailer and we showed them around as well and I was quite taken aback that a lot of people were really interested in the electrics that I did. So uh, maybe in a, in a later episode I might actually sit down and talk a little bit more about that perhaps and uh, show you guys how I did it so that if you're interested in doing something like that yourself you can do that also. Um, so we we'll, we'll might have a look at that also as well guys. Right guys, so I won't hold you up anymore. We'll get straight into it and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drive. So we've uh, arrived down here at Gloucester and uh, it's about 8.15 this morning and uh, had a long drive last night all the way from Brisbane. Pulled in here around about 12.40 last night and uh, got to bed. 
and uh, we've only just woken up this morning. We can see the beautiful mountain ranges there sitting in behind us, so it looks quite nice, eh? Hey? So today, uh, some of the plans are for us. We're going to go grab some breakfast, and uh, yeah, then we're going to go and head over to uh, the drift office, which is actually just over the road uh, from us here, and we're going to go and have a look around there, hopefully. So uh, we'll see how we go. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next next part. Okay, guys, we arrived down here at uh, Drifter's head office, and we came around, we had a look around, we met Ronnie Darley, he's sitting over the side over there, and uh, we thought we'd go and have a look at their showroom that they've got here, guys. So uh, just come in this way, we'll go and have a look. I know exactly, I know exactly what you're after. So they've got their complete range of snow peak gear just sitting out the side over here for us. And uh, there's a stack of us sitting in there, guys. Hey, so you get to come down here. Come on, come on down and have a look around. They have a computer over here if you need to. Uh, so you can um, access stuff online. You need to do that as well. And uh, down over here, yeah, no, got all their cookware, so uh, the uh, snow pit range of flight pits sitting there as well. So they've got the small, medium and large flight pits sitting up there, as well as some of the Uniflame uh, tables and the chairs sitting in here also. So um, over the side over here you'll find got a lot of all the little accessories. So I've actually got this guy here as well, this is your cable saver for your fridge, so sitting over there, as well as all their Factor 55 gear sitting here as well. And uh, yeah, they've got some of their Dutch ovens and, and gear sitting up top up over, over there as well uh, for you to um, have a look at also. At the back of the stool, um, they've got all their, all their bags. Now, Drifter have got a really good range of bags, guys. Um, so, so make sure you uh, have a look online because you'll see a stack of their bags online. And the beauty is that if you do get the opportunity to come down here and have a look, you can actually come into the store and you actually feel and see these bags that they've actually got sitting here as well. So it's uh, an advantage if you can. If you can't, have a look online, but uh, it's, it's just useful you know, when you actually get to see something and see how big it is and see whether your stuff's actually going to fit in it. So it's a good way of going as well. Um, they have their, um, the, uh, over the side of here, <clears throat> so um, those guys you can use for your Oz tents, you put them on the back of your vehicle. So we've actually got one of those in the back of our vehicle there now. Um, we've got ours coloured in black, if I remember correctly. And uh, so now, last time we were here, um, they had it set up so we were just downstairs, but they've actually opened up upstairs as well. So we might have a quick look upstairs and we'll show you up there as well. So um, up here they've got one of the, uh, the uh, um, uni flame, the snow peak, sorry, you get it right eventually. The snow peak uh, tables set up here. And so the snow peak tables have the advantage of that you can actually add them onto your drift gear if you wanted to as well. Or like they've got set up here, they've got set up under the awning. Uh, so they've got one of the smaller awnings set up here as well. So you can see just sitting up there on the roof, um, which you can use also. And uh, these guys are slot together. They've got lots of different bits and pieces that you can you can slot in here. So for cooking as well, uh, if you want to do that too. So perfect for all that type of stuff, guys. Just behind you over there, got the drifter fire pit. So uh, that fire pit all slots together. We actually have one, a small one of those, and uh, it's great just if you just want to have a fire and uh, do a cook up that way maybe. Uh, in behind us here, um, it'll be. Oz tent bunker as well, so um, we actually have one of those, they're, they're very good, uh, excellent. Perfect if you're just going away for a weekend and uh, you want something quick and easy to set up. So all my girls have slept in those and um, I think they'll give you the thumbs up. <laughs> um, over here, so over here we've got the uh, snow peak um, uh, table and uh, their fire pit as well. And uh, this is what they call it the Chikara table. And the Chikara table actually has the advantage in that you can actually add these extra tables onto it as well if you want to. So you can all sit around the fireplace, you can have your tables around here, and you can also get the, the lower fire pits that actually fit in here as well. So if you want to do two chops of cooking, you can do that as well with them. Uh, they've got just behind us over here, they've got their smokers. So that's their smokers that they have as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get to see those in use on the weekend. And uh, they've got the small fire pit, that's one we, which we actually use there, guys, at home also. And uh, this is something that I'm interested in, uh, with your ice bit. And uh, that's obviously for putting a roast uh, over your fire, and then you can cook a roast that way as well. That's something I would be interested in trying out one day soon. So, one unique thing that they've got here as well, guys, is they've um, put in uh, one of the uh, tables and underneath the Oz tin. So, this is an Oz tin RV4, and uh, they put one of their, their table setups in here. And uh, these are great, guys, because these just pack up small and uh, they, you can take them with you. So, you're going to chuck this in the back of your ute uh, or, or the like. 
And uh, yeah, so we've got a number of different tables in here. You can have a look around and uh, see the different sorts of tables you can use. Uh, one of the things that um, when I came up here, I actually noticed is they had uh, they've got a, uh, one of these blue mattresses over there, and those things are really comfortable. Hey, um, the the type of uh, foam that's built into them, they're just really um, really nice and soft. Uh, it's, this is made by uh, Six Summit, and uh, yeah, they just they just really feel good, guys. So they're a good way to go, also. All right, guys. Um, so that's the, the a real quick look around um, in the um, the Drifter location, and uh, we'll continue on. We're going to go out probably to say hooray to, to Ronnie, and uh, we're going to head off to the Drifter campsite. All right, guys. Catch you soon.